The inside trip is one of my favorite moves. It doesn't take a ton of power or energy. Here's how I like to set it up and finish. Snap the head to open an underhook. Now I let my opponent fight in for an underhook on the other side. This is the sneaky part. He doesn't want me to just control the underhook. He wants to get back to a 50-50 position. So most of the time, my opponent fights hard for that underhook and is pretty relieved when he gets it. The perfect time to attack. Next, I've got to get the attacking side hip as close to the action as possible. I do this by executing a little crow hop, basically replacing my right leg with my left. Once I'm in close, I paint a line with my toes around my opponent's foot. This is very important. Common mistake is to hook your opponent's leg at the knee, but the inside trip is all about straightening his leg. Now that the line is painted, I collapse to the ground and drive my hips and upper body toward, forward and towards my tripping foot at the same time. This is the action that straightens my opponent's knee and forces him to fall. Finally, and this is applicable for BJJ and MMA, but not really so for wrestling, I'll post my overhook hand and my head so I can cartwheel out and clear my opponent's guard. If he's slick and locks guard before I can do this, no biggie, still got my takedown. Well, that's it for the details. Please let me know in the comments if my super sneaky inside trip setup is working for you. This Flow Athletics training tutorial was made possible with the support of Combat Skin. Performance athletic gear designed and made for combat. Check out the fancy spats I'm wearing designed by renowned artist and BJJ practitioner Mirkatsu. I definitely felt 200% faster wearing them during today's training session. I thank Combat Skin for supporting our technique videos and ask that you use the coupon code FLOWATHLETICS, one word, to get 10% off your order and to help me make more awesome wrestling videos. Use it at CombatSkin.com. <laughs>